Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 40 new features and changes of watch OS 7 beta 1 so watch OS 7 is the latest release from Apple the beta 1 of course and it brings quite a few new changes and features to watch OS so here are 40 new features and changes of watch OS 7 Starting things off with a new watch face. Chronograph Pro is the new watch face that Apple has added to Watch OS 7. It is pretty awesome. I like it. I've been using it since yesterday and I really like how it looks on the Apple Watch. Now, if you go to customize it, you will have here a few options. The time scale, you will have the color. Of course, you have a few colors here to pick from. And of course, you will have the complications. You have four of them that you can add to this watch face. Now with watch os 7 you will have the ability to share watch faces so once you go to your watch faces you go to one of them you will have the share button right there and from here you will be able to send this as a message when you go to edit one of your watch faces you will notice that there is a new color picker so if we go to color sphere you can see that has changed it's way different from the one that was on watch os 6. And when you go to add a new complication, you will notice that the complications look is totally different. So you can see right here, we have a different look on the complications page. And if you go at the top, then you will have the off button, which allows you to basically turn off the complication for that part. So you tap right there if you want to remove completely the complication on that part of the watch face. With Watch OS 7, there are like different apps that offer multiple complications and you can have multiple complications from one app to your watch face. So if we go to weather right here, you can see that it has three that display here, but if you tap on more, it shows even more complications. So here are like five different complications that the watch app, basically the weather app will offer and you can go ahead and use any one of them, two or even more on the same watch face. If you go to the notifications, now you will notice that if you swipe like this, you will see a button right there that says clear all notifications. Now, what I've noticed on Watch OS 7 is that Apple is probably trying to remove Force Touch from the Apple Watch because all the stuff that used to be like a Force Touch gesture now has been replaced with a button. You will also get like this option right here to manage the notifications. So if you go right there, you can go ahead and manage notifications for your Apple Watch. Siri now has a new look, just like on the iPhone and on the iPad, you will get a new look on Siri on the watch OS as well. So you can see right here, it looks way different. And now you can see there, it shows a microphone. That means that this app, basically Siri is using the microphone, just like on the iPhone, that it will show you a blue, a basically a green dot when some app is using your camera or a yellow dot when some app is using your mic, it will also show it right here on the Apple Watch. And now you can translate using Siri. So just ask her, how do you say hello in Spanish? In Spanish, hello is hola. As you can see right now, you can do voice translations with Siri right here on the Apple Watch. One thing that I really like on Watch OS 7 is the new camera app. It has been updated with a ton of different features. Now, once you open the camera app and you go ahead and press the three dots right there, you can enable a timer and you will have also the option here to switch between the front and the rear camera. You will also get the option here to turn on or off the flashlight or use the auto flash and then you can go ahead and do the same for the live photos. All these can be done right here. You can turn on or off HDR directly from here. And of course, you will have this button right here that allows you to shoot photos. You have the timer. You can see there are three seconds to go ahead and shoot photos. And then you will have the preview right here. With the weather app on Watch OS 7, now you will have a few options here. At the top, you will have a button that says viewing. If you go right there, you can choose what you want to view on the list here. So you can choose between temperature, condition, and precipitation right there. You can change that and you will see then right here your cities. And of course, you will see whatever you choose to see right there. And if you go to one of the cities, you can see that now on the Apple Watch, the weather app will also show the air quality index. On the activity app, if you scroll all the way down, you will find two new buttons. Weekly summary right there. You can tap right there to see the weekly summary of your exercises. And change move goal. This has been, but you used to have to touch 
3D Touch on the screen to show that button and now it has been added right there on the app. Here we also have the new Sleep app. This is a new app that has been added to Watch OS 7. So basically you can set up when you want to go to sleep, when you want to wake up and it will track your sleep and all that. So you can set it up here on the Apple Watch and you will have to basically just set up your alarm when you want to go to bed and if you want to do that, it's the same thing every day and all that. Now if you go to the control center on your Apple Watch, you will notice that you will have there a new toggle that will basically allow you to turn that feature on or off directly from here. Once you have this set up, you can go ahead and turn it on from here. If you go to the Messages app on Watch OS 7, you will have a new button right there to start a new message. Now, again, this used to also be a force touch on the screen to start a new message, but it looks like Apple is removing force touch and that has replaced that gesture. A few things have changed on the settings app as well. At the top of the settings app, now you will find notifications. If you go right here, you can manage your notifications. You can enable or disable the notification indicator. You can also go ahead and enable notification privacy. Now, what this will do is just will keep your notifications private until you tap on them to show them. And then you can also enable announce messages. So you can basically announce messages with Siri now with Watch OS 7. And that, of course, is really, really cool. There are some really cool new settings here. If we scroll down, you will find our app view. So again, this has been removed from the home screen. Now you can find it on the settings app and you can change the grid view and the list view from here. And now we have also battery settings here. So if we go to battery, you can see the percentage of the battery and the charge there. You can see the last charge and you also have now a section that says battery health for your Apple Watch. Lower here, you can enable optimized battery charging for the Apple Watch. That's really, really cool. And you can see right here, the maximum capacity will be shown. Mine is at 98, it's really great. I had this for a year and it's still doing really, really good. There are new exercises on the workout app. So we have a dance exercise that Apple showcased on the keynote. So here we have dance, that's an open goal. We have then cool down. This is basically a way to cool down after you have exercised and then we have core training. This is new as well. And I believe we have one more. This one is also a new functional strength training. This is also a new workout that has been added. So we have basically four different workouts added to the workout app. On the stocks app on watch OS 7, if you open the stocks app at the top right there, you will see viewing. If you tap there, you can change between points, market cap and percentage. So you will have three different options to view the stocks on the watch OS 7. On watch OS 7, now there are some new complications that you can add. We have the camera remote. If you tap right there, you can quickly access your camera. So really, really cool. And with all the updates to the camera app, that's really awesome. And right here, we have the contacts. You can have any of your contacts set as a complication on an Apple Watch face. On Watch OS 7, now you have the Shortcuts app from where you can access quickly your shortcuts. And you can see this beautiful new design. It looks really, really amazing. And you can have here all the shortcuts that you can run from your Apple Watch. But not just that, you can also add any of your shortcuts as a complication on the watch face. So directly from the watch face, you can have access to your favorite shortcut or the shortcut that you need the most and don't even have to go ahead and open the app at all. With Watch OS 7, if you have seen the keynote, Apple has presented a new hand washing detection feature. Now I've tried that a few times on my Apple Watch. It did detect my hand washing twice when I did that. I did that probably like seven or eight times and it did detect it twice. It's not working like perfectly, but of course it will be improved with the next update. So it will basically just sense when you're washing your hands based on the hands movement and the sounds of the water. One really cool thing that you will find on watchOS 7 are the animations, which are really, really fast and will make your Apple Watch feel like a new one. So here I have the Series 4. The animations are crazy fast. So you will love seeing these faster animations on your Apple Watch. It is really, really amazing. Apple did a great job, even though it's just beta one. The animations are really, really fast. 
Now, cool new feature of Watch OS 7, which I cannot show right now, is that it will give you a notification, an alert on your iPhone when your when your device, when your Apple Watch is charged at 100%. So if you leave your device charging, then you will get a notification once it's fully charged. And last but not least, let's talk about the Apple Watches that will work with Watch OS 7. Those will be only the three newest ones, the Series 3, the Series 4, and the Series 5. Only these three Apple Watches will get Watch OS 7. So of course, it's a shame that the other ones won, but that's how it goes. And of course, with a new Apple Watch coming out this year, there will be four new Apple Watches that will support Watch OS 7. So that's basically it for this video guys, thank you for watching, these are 30 and more new features and changes that Apple has added to the Apple Watch with Watch OS 7. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and subscribe for more and I will see you on the next one.